Hey guys, um, I am Jessica Beck, if you don't know that already. I think sometimes I forget to introduce myself in the beginning of the videos. I assume you guys all know me. Anyway, if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, okay, so I had a question from a student, um, not a three key student, but someone who just subscribes to this channel. Thank you guys for subscribing, by the way. Um, so she asked, how much do I need to practice speed reading every day for IELTS? And this really struck me and I really wanted to talk about it. Um, okay, so today's video is full of reading advice, guys, so take notes. Okay, first of all, what is speed reading? Speed, or, speed reading is where um, you use your finger or your pen and you, you read super, super fast. Okay, you take in information super, super fast. So two techniques of speed reading are skimming and scanning. Now, these are the only two techniques you need for the exam because as I hope you know, guys, you will never read every word of a passage, okay? Um, there's usually no time, even if you're speedy. And secondly, it's going to confuse you. You're going to take in too much information and not be able to focus on the answers that you need, okay? So don't speed read whole articles, okay? That is not an IELTS skill. Um, skimming is, right? Skimming is where you read the beginning of every paragraph to get the main idea. You must do that. Also, scanning. Now, scanning is not reading. To me, I wouldn't classify this as speed reading, but the internet does. So, scanning is where you use your finger and your pen to drift over line by line and look for specific information. Those two skills you do need on IELTS, okay? Um, now, another reason why I, I'm going to tell you not to practice speed reading in the traditional sense where you're just trying to read every word super fast, guys, studies have shown that speed reading leads to less comprehension, okay? So it's not going to help you on the test. Okay, um, I made a lot of notes today, guys. That's why I'm glancing down because this really got me thinking of information that you need before your IELTS exam. Um, one feature of speed reading that really will help you is the matter of making you um, an active participant in reading by using your finger, pen, or pencil to always point at what you're reading. Okay, reading, looking, everything, even questions. This is also very useful on the listening exam, guys, to help you keep track, okay? Be active, point to what you're hearing, follow along. So that is very useful. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, another reason why I don't recommend focusing on speed reading is because, um, again, like that's not what you need, okay? The only time that you have to read every word of something and, and comprehend it is when you are, when you find the keywords in the passage, okay? And you know the answer is close to that. And then you have to read one or two sentences very carefully and compare that to the question. Okay, now you cannot do that fast. You have, this is where you slow down. You read one or two sentences slowly to get the answer and then compare, write the answer. Okay, so again, don't focus on speed reading. It doesn't have a place in your IELTS preparation or the IELTS strategies. Now, lastly, what should you be doing every day? <laughs> okay, so this person's worried about speed reading. Again, so many reasons today I told you, don't think about that. Um, now, what you do need to do is practice confidence, comfort, and comprehension in your reading. And so this feeling will carry through to your reading exam, all right? So find something that motivates you, a novel, fiction or nonfiction, a comic book. I've done a video where I recommend really awesome comic books on this channel. Um, newspapers, magazines, whatever floats your boat, okay? Find something you enjoy reading. And then you're, when you read, you're reading for pleasure, but you're also practicing these feelings that you need on test day, okay? The comfort, the confidence while you're reading, the understanding while you're reading. So that's half of it. And the other half is learning a system of strategies that will get you the right answers, okay? 
If you're looking for a system, of course, I recommend ours, the Three Keys IELTS Success System. We have helped a lot of candidates get nines on the IELTS reading exam, guys. So trust me when I tell you it's about simple strategies, not sort of magic keys like speed reading, okay? If you're ready to check out our course, you can go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. You could start learning the strategies today. Why not? <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and keep commenting on these videos, guys. I'm gonna try and answer as many of them in specific video lessons as I can. So maybe I will choose your comment and you will get an answer soon. So keep watching, keep commenting, and thank you for being a subscriber. And uh, I will see you next time. <laughs> I got ahead of myself there. Okay, guys, um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.